Mr. President. Please come next. Um, before we have a large amount of people leaving, I wanted to uh, tell you that unfortunately I have <coughs> employment needs. I am supposed to be someplace at 7:30. Uh, my employment requires me to leave. I'd like to thank the council, my colleagues, for their uh, understanding here. I would urge the councilors to vote in favor of the CPA request for $300,000 uh, for the Riverside project. I think it's a wonderful request. But secondly, I'd also like to ask Councilor Ziegler to consider um, continuing the public hearing on the bicycles. I have a lot of questions, but I know that my colleagues will do what they think is right there. I'd like to be able to discuss that in, in, uh, when Councilor Derby is here in August, but if that doesn't happen, okay. I apologize, I must leave. Thank you. Okay. Uh, because there are members here who may have come uh, for the bicycle one, this is where I said I was going to skip around a little bit. I'm going to go to Councilor uh, Ziegler and uh, ask him to report out on the, uh, let's say, the proposal to update the City Ordinance Chapter 3 bicycle. Uh, we are, I believe the plan is tonight is to continue this uh, public hearing on this item. Uh, but if there's any members of the public here who came to speak, uh, let uh, Councilor Ziegler talk first. Uh, before we open uh, the public speak on the chapter three bicycles I just wanted to we have received some letters of concern uh, about this these ordinance changes and I'd just like to address uh, briefly uh, some of the things that we we've been looking at over the last couple months through the, the ordinance subcommittee uh, some of the areas that we're looking to amend in chapter three include simple things like the definition of a bicycle um, the restricted use in certain places such as the Manhand Trail, uh, use of passenger seats, safety issues around the bicycles, speed, uh, riding on the right hand side of the road, uh, clinging to, the, uh, to other vehicles, and riding in groups. I mean these are some of the major areas in addition to uh, riding on the side, sidewalks and carrying different articles. There has been significant discussion on this uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll hear a little bit more of this in, in public hearing tonight, but many of the areas of safety concerns that have been brought to our attention through emails or letters, I, I just wanted to say that we have deferred back to the, the state regulations. So if we've crossed something out in some of the local ordinances, it's not because we don't feel that it's necessary, we just feel that it's appropriately covered with the state language. And on that, I would like to open up the public comment then. Does anyone in the public would like to come speak to this uh, new ordinance? Please step forward. <coughs> I'll recognize this will be continued uh, later on, so you're welcome to come back and speak then too if you wish. Thank you. Uh, my name is Eli Damon. I live at 14 Ward Avenue, and uh, I am, I'm a cycling instructor. I've taught for uh, Safe Routes to School, the League of American Bicyclists, and now I'm teaching in the Cycling Savvy program. Uh, for the Florida Bicycle Association. Um, so it was, it was my original idea to, uh, to amend the bicycle ordinances and I've collected all the documents related to it at, um, and you can find them at eli-damon.info slash East Hampton, uh, including a presentation I gave to the ordinance committee, which I'm very proud of. So um, you might want to watch that. Okay. Um, the current, all right, so the, the problems with the current ordinances, um, they are, many of them are, many of them are contrary to state law uh, and, and uh, established principles of bicycle safety. Um, many of them have vague and confusing language and there, many of them are also re redundant in, in light of state law. They, they merely, uh, they, they merely copy something that is already covered by state law. Um, and so the and the the committee the the ordinance committee has um, uh, put has made recommend has made recommendations. They've they're changing the definition of a bicycle. Um, you know the um, um, re changing ordinance related to the uh, traffic on the manhand, parking, riding on sidewalks, uh, use of hands, equipment, and and penalties and and all those changes are good. I I I, um, I totally approve of them. I think uh, I think this uh, the, the recommendation is overall is is, is very good. Um, there there are still some there are still some problems with the committee's recommendation that 
that I feel compelled to point out, though. Um, some some of the uh, some of the some of the ordinances um, in so, some of the language in the uh, in the committee's recommendation are still contrary to state law, um, and so when when we when we drive, uh, we we expect we expect. Um, we expect the, the traffic regulations to be uniform. We expect them to be the, the same wherever we go, right? So we don't have to worry about a different set of rules every time we cross a border. And for that reason, the, the state, for that reason, we, we've all, as, as citizens, given the, the state legis legislature the, the uh, responsibility to, to regulate traffic. And uh, a town cannot decide to make its own traffic regulations that that are different from from the state's regulations um, so any 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 local any local ordinances that that uh, that are contrary to state traffic law uh, are not legally enforceable um, which degrades the effectiveness of, of the code as a whole and it also leads to uh, conflict and expense and bad attention when if somebody tries to enforce an invalid law. Um, okay, so one, all right, one ordinance, what the, the ordinance that I find most troubling is, uh, is Article 41, um, which is titled Writing on Right-Hand Side of the Road, and the, 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 current, the current text says, every person operating a bicycle upon a roadway shall ride as near to the right-hand side of the roadway as practicable, uh, exercising due care when passing vehicles or approaching vehicles proceeding in the same direction. And um, so there are many problems with this. Uh, the, the committee has fixed some of them uh, with their recommended text, which is, Every person operating a bicycle upon a roadway shall ride as near to the right-hand side of the roadway as is safe, unless preparing to make a left turn, riding in a lane which is too narrow to share safely, avoiding degraded street surfaces, broken pavement, and sewer grates, avoiding the door zone of parked automobiles, avoiding obstructions such as pedestrians and stopped vehicles, or avoiding debris which could damage the bicycle or degrade handling sand, gravel, glass. Okay. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. Uh, so this is so um, this is still contrary to say to state law. Uh, state law gives cyclists uh, the flexibility to choose whatever whatever position is is best under is best under the circumstances and does not does not uh, try to restrict their position beyond beyond. Uh, the rules for for other drivers. Um, it, so, the the ordinance is also the also, the ordinance is also very vague, right? As 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 far to the right as practicable, or as far to the right as is safe. You know how you know who decides that? How do they how do they determine that? Um, it's very prone to misinterpretation and inconsistent enforcement, even even with the new language, which makes it clear what. What the what the ordinance doesn't apply to, but doesn't make it at all clear what the ordinance does apply to. Elan, I have to ask you to wrap it up in case there's someone else who wants to talk. Um, okay. okay um, how much time do I have? I'll allow you a little little more time, but I'm not going to. You know, I'm not trying to nail you down. I'm trying to think of a way to end your conversation shortly. Okay. Sure. Um, and we're going to continue the hearing anyway, so you get to refine it. Come back if you can. Okay, sure. So, all right. It also okay. If it and it re, it reverses priorities. It um, it makes basically safety the exception to the rule rather than the rule itself. Um, and um, and giving giving different drivers different rights and responsibilities um, leads to an creates an atmosphere of of resentment and competition rather than a friendly cooperative road atmosphere which which I think we should we should have um, the other the other ordinance that I find troubling which I'll I promise yep. to be very quick about this 
is the group riding ordinances, which is also contrary to state law. Um, um, state law allows um, two, two abreast riding uh, subordinate to the, um, to the duty to facilitate overtaking. Um, the, the, committee's, the committee's recommendation uh, puts in a, um, uh, makes it, uh, restricts uh, much more than that, the ability to ride two abreast and uh, un under the um, un under the um, right un under the you know idea that that it would make it easier to make it easier to overtake, but it actually um, it actually in many cases would make it harder to overtake. Um, so, all right, I will I will stop. I have more to say, but but I will stop now. Okay. Are there any other members of the public who'd like to come forward and speak to us on this issue? Please step forward, state your name and address for the record. I'm Ralph Sturgeon, 11 Elliott Street, East Hampton. Um, also a cycling instructor happens to be, but anyway. Um, <coughs> I'm not quite sure if I'm speaking for or against. I will say, number one, that the ordinances needed to be updated, certainly. Um, now, my first, the, my, the first point I want to raise is whether we have the authority as a city to put all this stuff in an ordinance when it has, as, as I understand, uh, let's say the home rule um, amendment, under, uh, under my understanding of that, we are free to uh, address 317, the Manhand Trail, because that has not been addressed by the state legislature. And 347, riding on the sidewalk, we are required by state law to stipulate what are the business districts where sidewalk riding is prohibited. Uh, so that's my point one. I think those two things should be in here, and I think nothing else should be. Point two, if you don't take point one, um, I do have a couple, uh, Eli, I, I won't deal with uh, what Eli just spent on 3-41. Uh, the, the wording, the wording in here is, was basically my wording. I thank the, uh, the ordinance committee for allowing us to give so much input that we were able to give. I mean, I don't, I don't think 341 should be in it, but if it's going to be, <clears throat> that's as good as I could get. Um, Two other points on 3-37, where I believe it's paragraph B, they're talking about uh, <clears throat> no right, left, or U-turns. If, if there's a sign prohibiting that, then I on a bicycle may not make those turns, just as I in a motor car cannot make those turns. I would like to add one-way streets, because that also pertains. And um, on the riding in a group, again, Eli covered that quite well, but if we're going to have it, let us change the last couple words there. Um, cyclists shall allow overtaking and ride single file to facilitate safe passing, I would say, on a two-lane road, because there are a lot of narrow roads where it doesn't matter how far I get over, you can't pass me safely. Okay. But if I'm on a four-lane road, actually it's probably to the motorist benefit if we clump up as bicyclists and you can get around us easily. Because you're probably, given most of the lanes around here, going to have to change lanes to pass anyway. So that's, that's really the only things I have at the moment. I did have some other things, but then I realized that the uh, draft that I received by email was not the draft that you were looking at tonight. So, so uh, some of my other concerns have already been addressed. Thank you. Are there any me other members of the public who'd like to come forward? <coughs> please state your name and uh, address for the record, please. I'm sure you've heard that enough. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen Wilmer for Kingsbury Way. Um, and I wanted to start just with a general comment, which is the same as what both of their saying um, 
I believe that it's very much in our interest to facilitate bicycling around here. There are neighboring towns, Northampton, places where it's more present for bicyclists to be there, and it does not interfere with traffic on the whole. On the whole, it reduces congestion. Um, I've heard people argue, you know, bicyclists should stay on the bike path. It's lovely we have a bike path, but as a mode of transportation, trying to facilitate real easy traveling from point A to point B anywhere with a bicycle is totally in our town's interest, I would argue. Um, and related to that, I agree with both comments that have been made. My preference would strongly be in favor of not having this ordinance. I believe that there are a very clear set of laws which apply to all vehicles on the roadways, um, cars and bicycles and other vehicles, and those are already enforced at the state level. And if we wanted to have a clarifying document for East Hampton, we already have a document put together of those state laws um, which could be used to enforce those. So I'm strongly in favor of simply enforcing the laws that already exist. Um, that said, I do definitely, I participated in subcommittee discussions at one of the meetings and I very much think that this is a great improvement over what was there. Um, there were laws that, you know, we had a less restrictive law about bicycle helmets than the state law. Um, we said that, you know, you could, under 16 in the, or under 12, the state law was oh, under 16. There, 16. there are a number of things like that where this actually was misleading to law enforcement. Um, so a disadvantage of continuing to go with this ordinance is that every time there's any change on the state level, we have to reconvene these meetings and update everything again, um, which seems to just be a waste of time, frankly. Um, but this is much more consistent with state law, this document, and so I believe that it's a great improvement over what was there before. Um, I would also like to agree with the fact <coughs> that I don't personally think that the right riding on the right, um, that section 341 riding on as far to the right of the road as is practicable um, is a beneficial thing to include in here. I, as a bicyclist and as a car driver, I experience irritation sometimes when I can't easily get around bicyclists. Um, however, when I'm bicycling, particularly on roads like Cottage Street, where it's lined with roads uh, with cars on either side, it is much, much safer just on those roads to be able to ride in the center. Um, in general, these, the riding in a group and the riding on the right side of the roadway ordinance sections here have, they have, we've listed a number of exemptions which give some clarity to why those, you know, what situations might it not be best to ride on the very right hand side of the road. Um, but I don't think that it's easy in an ordinance to be completely thorough with writing all the exemptions. I think it's better just not to have that law there and confuse everybody. Um, there are situations not listed here where it still just makes sense um, logically to not facilitate passing if you're <coughs> if you're taking up the you know trying to take up the right hand side of the lane and there's a car that thinks that they can maybe pass you and you allow that possibility then it can actually create more of a hazard than if you just clearly take the lane um, and make it not very easy to pass um, so that's just a lot of examples like that where I believe that this Probably this ordinance isn't needed. There's a great thorough set of laws at the state level, um, which do a great job of regulating bicycles as well as cars and other vehicles. Thank you. Are there any other, other members of the public who would like to come forward and speak? To this we get a motion. That said, before we do a motion, is there any counselor who would like to make a comment so that uh, Councilor Ziegler can bring this back? Oh, okay. you have. Please come forward one more time. I'll allow you to speak. <coughs> Ralph Sturgeon, 11 Elliott Street again. Um, <coughs> this may be completely out of order. Uh, you said we have received emails and letters against it. I would request to be at some point allowed to see that, whether it's at the committee meeting again, so that we can discuss and refute. Um, and like I said, it, you know, tell, tell, tell me no if that's the answer, but I. If I don't ask, the answers already know. Uh, some of those may be in confidence. Oh, that, uh, that, I'm sure that the chair will we'll pass them on to the chair, and he'll make the decision whether he's going to share them or not. Thank you. Hey, I have actually one brief comment. I'll state this. Uh, I do have a copy of the state regulations here in front of me. It's actually Chapter 85, Section 11B through Section 11E, for those who want to read it. I'm actually I'm going to commend uh, the group for actually taking this up. It's clear that our ordinance is a little outdated and <coughs> needs some work and revision. And I'll, what I'll do is uh, I have a list of questions this 
uh, proposal to actually continue the public hearing will allow me to send my questions to the chair and uh, uh, so that he can offer uh, answers rather than take up time and debate then. Uh, are there any other comments from the counselors? Anything to say? No, I was actually going to just propose the motion that without having the chair of Councilman Derby, uh, an avid cyclist himself here to be part of this, I would propose that we uh, move to uh, continue the public hearing to the August 1st meeting. Second. Second. Okay, we have a motion to continue the public hearing on the <coughs> uh, proposal to update the city ordinance chapter three bicycles to August 1st, uh, 2012. Any further comments on that motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any abstentions or objections? The motion passes. I hope you can all attend uh, August 1st. Thank you for coming.